Good news. Kira Motors in Uganda, Africa, will commence mass productions of electric vehicles by 2021. Is it a good thing for commuters? What will happen to petrol run vehicles? And then what is the implications of this development on both Uganda and the Africa economy? Well, stay tuned. I have very good answers for you. Welcome to my channel. Grab a copper. Of course, I mean a cup of tea. And then subscribe. And to bring you up to speed, the Kira Moto production plant is about 60% completed. And according to the latest report, the construction works undertaken by Uganda's People's Defense Forces through national enterprise corporations are scheduled to be completed in June 2021 and shall have installed capacity of 5,000 vehicles per annum when fully operational. I mean, the productions of Kajula EV buses. And it is a win win for commuters. Okay, wait, let me break it down for you. You see, before now, most commuters in Uganda and some African countries travel back and forth to their various destinations inside dilapidated vehicles. I mean, buses in poor conditions. And again, at high fees for commuters because of high fuel price. <laughs> well, the good news is with these new electric buses, commuters will now enjoy a good ride in a new and modern Cayola EV buses which is equipped with onboard Wi-Fi to ensure, I mean, to ensure the travelers stay connected. CCTV for enhanced security. USB charging ports to enable charging of uh, travelized devices. Air conditioning, smart ticketing at reduced prices. And then safety features like the seat belt for the driver and the passengers and what happened to petrol I mean petrol en en engine vehicles you probably want to ask me <laughs> well from the look of things more so as the world now clamors for zero emission mobility uh, petrol run engine vehicles will be phased out in due time And perhaps you would like to know whether the production of these buses is going to be sustainable. Well, in that case, stay with me. Let me tell you about my findings. The company will be selling the buses to private and then public companies that operate transport routes in and around Kampala. So its prices will need to be competitive enough to compete with other producers, I mean providers selling fossil fuel vehicles to the same client. Besides, as the first producers of EV buses in Africa, Kira Motors already have a competitive ad advantage because of a ready-made market for all these vehicles all over Africa and subcontinent. Well, in no time, this company will soon begin to bring in revenues for from sales of his vehicle and to inform you Kiramoto also produces other EV cars like uh, the Kira EV Smack and the Mini Kira EV that said given all these positive developments about Kira Motors Uganda economy is positioned to grow and this vehicle will not only be exported to Africa but also globally. In effect, it will boost 
Uganda gross domestic product, I mean GDP. And then, please listen to this. This is key development. 14,000 direct and indirect jobs are projected to be created when the production facilities are fully operational. And then, perhaps, you think that most of this part will be imported from China. <laughs> well, the answer is no. According to the LIBU report, government source, of course, 90% of the e bus and I quote, parts could eventually be made in Uganda while manufacturing the lithium batteries that powers electric vehicles is a highly technical process that's currently done mostly in China. And some other parts of the bus that are already being made locally includes windows, air filters, frame and the 12 volt batteries that powers the radio end quote and to know more about kira motors and various type of electric vehicles check my video titled electric vehicle to replace petrol vehicles in africa you will see the clip at the end of this video okay let us quickly examine the configuration of this bus carrying capacity 90 49 seated, 41 standing. Maximum power, kilowatt, 245. Range on sing single charge, 300. And then battery bank charge capacity, 560. I see this is a very good beginning. Beside, it is important to note that the floor of Kayola EV is made from bamboo. The interior, mainly plastic and aluminium, with a steel superstructure and body panels. You probably want to know what this means for Uganda economy. <laughs> well, it will create jobs. And then, revenue for local manufacturers. Making these components to feed the production line of Kira vehicle plant meaning a local supply chain and less reliance on imports and then because of this development and then in recognition of the brain behind the success of Kira Motors Bloomberg team I mean the Bloomberg team said Musasi the chief executive officer of Kira Motors corporations deserve to be listed in the bookers, book of achievers and by 2030, when demand for buses in Africa we have risen to, to say 10 million per year, Musasi says Kira should be able to supply, supply at least a half a million of the buses. Okay, so what are the challenges before Kira Motors? Ah, well, the lack of electrification in sub-Saharan African means the electric vehicles revolution is advancing at a slower pace there compared to other parts of the world again some of kira moto competitors are china and germany i mean the Volkswagen ag who's already assembling electric vehicles out of a plant in capital kigali rwanda a neighboring country and i quote our biggest challenge, of course, will be China and the big players that make electric vehicles more efficient in pricing. One of the officer, uh, officers says, Chi Masia, I mean, that's the name. Well, that said, I hope other African countries will take a cue from Uganda achievement and make Africa proud. And then countries like Nigeria and Ethiopia, the two giants of Africa, need to wake up. It is a wake up call from Uganda, in my opinion. Kira Motors Management should aim for initial public offering, IPO. Get the company listed within five to eight years in the Nairobi Security Exchange and then Johannesburg Stock Exchange 
so that investors like you and I can invest and participate in the growth and development of this company. Okay, here comes the best part. Subscribe, like, and comment. Remember, the goal is to generate wealth. Build companies and create jobs. Bye now. See you soon.